Hello everybody. Happy Thursday. It is Facebook Thursday and I want to make sure I'm in the right place. Suddenly I'm having a little panic moment. Um, it is Thursday and we're going live today because, yep, good, I'm in the right place. Because tomorrow is Good Friday and all of my people will be home <laughs> and we know that nothing happens quietly around here when my people are at home. So, and my oldest is coming home from college this afternoon, this evening. So I'm taking the day off tomorrow. I'm sure lots of you have the day off tomorrow too. Hopefully you can find some crafting time. Hello, hello. It's good to see you guys. So today is one of those <sighs> moments for me. I planned projects for Marigold Moments. I hadn't seen very many projects online. thought people weren't using it very much. I thought it's a really good one. Let's use it for Facebook Friday. So I did, and then the last chance list came out, and I noticed that the dies were super cheap. They were $13. I was like, awesome. Well, yesterday or day before yesterday, the stamp set sold out. <laughs> and I don't like to do Facebook Live or projects when you guys can't get the stamp set or the bundle. But honestly, I didn't have a plan B. This is all I got. So we're going with it. Um, most the two of the three projects use mostly the dies. Um, so the dies, like I said, are still available, $13. Um, and the dies make a really cute um marigold without the stamp. And then there's this really cool die right here. Um, if you have if you don't have marigold moments yet, um there are a plethora of um why is my hair I'm always seeing it sticking up when I go live. Um, there are a plethora of um, flower bundles out there, the daffodil. I mean, we aren't lacking for flowers. So if you wanted the Marigold Moments projects and you didn't get the stamp set, use what you have. I mean, right? You can use whatever you have. So we're going with it. I know I'm probably going to hear 500 times today. This is already sold out. I know. It is what it is. This, you know, usually I like to tell you guys, you know, kind of look at the um, last chance list before I go live and then tell you guys, oh, this is what sold out. There is so much sold out right now that I can't even like process it as I'm going down the list. The list is huge, first of all, of what's leaving and then what's still available is, is a huge list. So the best way to know if something is still available is to go to the store and type it in the search bar. And if it doesn't come up, that means it's gone. Um, I've done that multiple times in the last few days. Lots of things actually, well, not lots. About three things we're using today are gone. They just are gone. So if there are things that you want that are on these last chance lists, which I don't know where I put them. Are they right here? Yeah. Um, if there are things on these two last chance lists that you want, don't wait because... I've had even a couple of you tell me that you put in your order, you're working, 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 and by the time you go to submit your order, something has sold out in the meantime, and, you, and you, you've you lost it because you haven't completed your order. So just know that's the nature of the beast. I always tell you guys, get your favorite things right away. Don't wait. Um, and sometimes I think things like the marigolds, for instance. I saw very few projects online. I don't think very many people were using it. But then when it sells out, people are like, oh, wait, I didn't get that. I need that. It kind of creates that craziness around it because why was it sold out so fast? It must be super popular. So I think sometimes that happens too. But anyhow, we're moving forward with it. It is what it is. All right. I have some things to show you guys. This was a um, wild week of fun presents in the mail, you guys. I have a whole like box here of things to show you that some of you sent me. So I'm going to run through these. Um, this is a thank you card with this cute little um, ladybug from Pam. Remember the ladybug? It was like a host set, I think, a few years ago during celebration, and it was so cute. Thank you, Pam. Very cute. Um, I got a lot of taco cards this week. This is from, this may be one of my most favorites I've gotten. This is from Debbie. And the way that Debbie colored these are very different than how I colored them. Well, yeah, 
I think so. They're beautiful. They're awesome. The detail, look around the circle. She's cut out all the sombreros to make that oval. She used the uh, frame from the um, desert, delicate desert dies. This is an absolutely awesome card. The amount of fussy cutting in here, Debbie is amazing. So I do love this card. It made me smile. It actually made me go oh, when I opened it. So very cute. Um, she said she sent it to me. Um, she likes my videos. Thank you. That's so sweet. But I have a collection now. And I'm going to, in my new studio, have something where I display all my Taco Fiesta cards. So that one is going in the Taco Fiesta collection. Thank you. Uh, this one is from, uh-oh, this is from, oh, Carla. Um, she sent me this card. So cute. All the little pinatas. I love coloring the pinata. I, you know, if you're going to mass produce anything from this Taco Fiesta stamp set, I think the pinata is the best choice because it's easy to color. Um, there's not a lot of coloring. Um, there, it's, it's little to fill in, but I don't know. I think it's the best one to do if you're doing swaps or whatever. Carla's very cute. She used that delicate desert um, frame as well. Thank you. I am putting that in my collection. Now this card is, gosh, what was this suite called? This is from Nina. No, you know, Nina, um, I have to read. Usually I don't read what's on the inside of the card, but what she wrote was so beautiful. She said, may God's blessings surround your family during this holy season and always. You're a blessing. And that's sweet. I just thought that was really sweet. I'm um, wishing you everything wonderful. So do you guys send Easter cards? I've never sent Easter cards, but I was very touched by this, Nina. Thank you very, very much. All right, here's another one, pink and black, my favorite color combination. Okay, this is from Vicki. Vicki and I met many, many years ago at, I don't know, Vicki was at a convention or on stage. She's another demonstrator. And uh, I met her again at this last on stage, but she, um, we've communicated on and off for several years. So she sent me this and she said, I found, or no, I use this in my own crafting and I thought I'd send it to you. It's an electric eraser. Um, you know how I'm always telling you guys to erase the pencil lines after you fussy cut your words? And funny story is that, you know, my kids, well, two of the three really are artists. And my mom is an artist. And they love this. They actually have one of these. Uh, my mom has one. Ellie has one. I think my middle child has one. Um, and I never even thought about it. So thank you. Now I have my own. I'm going to have to hide it. Because, you know, they'll lose theirs and they want to find mine. And thank you. That was a fun little gift to get. Okay, this one's really, really funny. Um, this is from um, Susie. And Susie, you have great handwriting. Susie sent me an adorable uh, paper pumpkin card. And she was like, I'm sorry, I'm sending you a kit card. I love this card. This is probably my favorite. But not paper pumpkin, a kit, right? It's from one of our kits. This is probably one of my favorite kit cards of all time. So you sent me the right one. But anyway, she said she found these at her local Hallmark store, store and had to go get them and send them. They're like sponges. Is that not hilarious? I will be using these. I will have a sink in my new studio at the new house. So I will be using these. There's another set right here of the taco. And it's a little scrubby, scrubby sponge. So cute. So I don't know. It doesn't have a brand on it. Oh, yes, it does. Mud Pie. Yeah, have y'all heard of that company? I've heard of that company before, Mud Pie. So if you're looking for these little taco and guacamole scrubbies, I love it. What a fun, fun gift. Thank you very much. Again, you guys, spoil me. Here's another one. Holy guacamole. This is from Joyce. Joyce said, I thought of you when I saw these. And look at the little tray she put her nachos on. Very clever. She sent me this little guy. Look, he's a gnome with a taco. <laughs> I mean, so cute. And a taco pot holder. I love it. I need a new pot holder too. Do you guys ever use your pot holders too long and then it starts burning you through your pot holder and you're like, I've got to get new pot holders because there's like a hole or something. That's where I'm at. So this one will be going to my kitchen. Thank you, Joyce, very much. Now this one, I haven't even like fully opened it because I wanted to open it with you guys. This is from Patty. Patty has sent me these before and they're amazing. And funny enough, we're making a seed card today, and I got the idea from Patty. She's one of my downline. She lives in Oklahoma. She 
does seed cards and right now she was hosting a seed card swap and I got that idea in my mind so I haven't even told her Patty I'm doing a seed card because of you she sent me this these are I don't know Patty what do you call these you have they have a name um she says upon shopping for seeds for my seed cards this year I found these and knew immediately who the recipient would be so hilarious I didn't even notice it's onions tomatoes cilantro and peppers you guys, how clever. Why didn't I think of that? So stinking cute. And we've got a friend. We've got fringe. There's also all kinds of goodies in here. Patty is like the gift giver extraordinaire. It says, yes, I know guac is extra, but so am I. <laughs> if you go to Chipotle, they're always like, guac is extra. It's a joke. So that's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Um, and some yellow rice. Oh, I actually have a recipe that I make with yellow rice and I'm not seeing a cute little personal like size of it very cute Patty you spoil me I have something to send to you too it's not as it's definitely not as adorable as this but I'll be sending it to you thank you Patty Patty so you know some people just really have that gift of gift gift of gift gift of gift giving gift of nurturing people like you know making people feel good. That's Patty. All right. I've got one more and this came today. Okay. This was so funny. Laura is on my team. She's not my direct downline. She's in my second level, but she's local here. And I've shown you guys Laura's stuff before. She bought me the little taco and avocado Christmas ornaments. She's an excellent stamper. And just either this morning or last night, I saw her post some things using the Taco Fiesta stamp set. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love these. Well, guess what? Today in the mail, I get a box with all her adorable little projects that she made. So Laura, thank you so much. In here are those little gummies, I believe. Yes. And then look, she made a shaker card with a pinata. Very cute. And then this one, the chips and the lime. Mm, that makes my mouth water. Very cute. This one, I love the color combo. Oh, this is a fancy fold. All right, it says, so let's celebrate you, right? And then, boop. Adorable, Laura. These are definitely going to my collection. Thank you so, so, so much. I didn't even see that it said Fiesta right there with the um, all the mode dies. Very cute. You guys, you're so thoughtful. I'm amazed daily by you guys. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's um, flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you just a couple of things and then we're gonna, we're gonna get stamping. Let me flip this over here. You guys, it's raining here. I can't remember the last time that it actually rained. Anne Marie and I were chatting this morning and she said, why is it that rain always makes everything so like delayed here? And I'm like, because it's foreign. We don't get rain here, you guys. So it's dark and it's thundering and it's been doing that since last night. So it's really nice. I get to where I crave rain. Um, I know some of you crave sun, which we have in abundance. So anyways, it's dark and gloomy and I like it. Okay. Now I haven't been watching what you guys are saying. Um, I'll have to come back. Now, look, you guys, <laughs> demonstrators got to order from the new catalog two days, three days ago, two days ago. And I have a bunch of stuff, but I haven't had time to really even go through all of it, except to make next month's Club Crate or May's Club Crate project. So I'm going to show you in a minute. Next week, we're going to use the little goose stamp set and I'm going to focus on new colors next week for Facebook Friday okay so I'm going to flip through the new colors today just to show you but then no next week come back we'll do comparisons and we'll make some projects with them okay um, I know there's other demonstrators out there showing you all kinds of stuff um, but I'm still working on current stuff here so we'll get to it I promise Misty Moonlight I'm, I'm going to need a cheat sheet because I don't know their names Misty Moonlight Berry Burst um, wow, that looks really green right there, doesn't it? What, is that pretty peacock? See, I knew if I took them out of the package. No, that's not. What is that? Lost Lagoon. 
Wow, Lost Lagoon? Is it? I don't know what that is. What's that one? See, look what happens. Okay, hold on. Let me get the, pa the packages, because I can't tell. Tranquil Tide? Why do I have Tranquil Tide? We don't have Tranquil Tide. Oh, I tricked myself. I pulled out Tranquil Tide from my retired stuff. Dang it, look how good that looks. Right, we don't have Tranquil Tide? Dang it, I pulled that out of my retired stuff. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? Okay, forget that. Put it back in the retired cabinet. This is Lost Lagoon. I was like, we don't have any new greens. What's happening? Man, I get those mixed up. All right, back to back to the, the collection. Here we go. Lost Lagoon, Lemon Lime Twist, which we probably all know is going to look ugly with that right there. Uh, blueberry Bushel, uh, Azure Afternoon, Lemon Lolly, very soft and pretty soft pink, kind of like butter. I would say. Um, bubble bath. Bubble bath is very, very pink, but as I lay it down there, it looks kind of purpley, doesn't it? It's so funny how these colors will change depending on what color you put them next to. See, if you put it next to, we'll do this next week. I know we don't have time for this this week. If you put it next to Berry Burst, it looks very pink. If you put it next to uh, this blue, it looks more like Fresh Freesia. I don't I didn't pull fresh freeze yet because we already have that color. Um pecan pie. I love that color. Then this is pretty peacock. Let's see, what does pretty peacock and lost lagoon look like together? Oh, yes, that is very nice. Okay, tranquil tide, forget you. We don't need you. Um, copper clay, kind of a rusty, rusty orangey brown. Pebbled path. I keep wanting to call this stone, and it's pebble, but stone, it looks like stone, right? Now, this color, you guys, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can get on board with this color. <laughs> I know that these these are the end colors, and I know they're on trend, but this is not, this is, color is not for me. It's very dijon -y right? I mean, even, and I like Dijon mustard, but I, this does not look like Dijon mustard. If you have been around and you remember, uh, if you remember summer star fruit, it's not like that, but it just makes me feel the same way. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind. Um, this is moody mauve. Now look, I don't like mauve either. I don't like dusty colors. My kids, this is all they want. They want these dusty colors. It's what's trendy. So this one's going to take me some time too to, uh, it's going to have to work, work on me. What is that? Oh, well, look, that looks good right there. Bubble bath and moody mauve. Hmm. See, if you put it with another color, it'll look better. Last but not least, boho blue. Now, Boho Blue has, I've almost used half a package of Boho Blue already on our Club Create projects for May. So you're going to love it. And I love it too. All right. So there's just a short rundown. See, I don't even know what colors we have. I, I'm pulling the wrong colors from my retired pack uh, or my retired box. Um, these are the colors that are leaving. Mango Melody cardstock's gone already. I think Rich Razzleberry cardstock's gone. So... I warned you, if you haven't gotten your refills or whatever, make sure you get them, okay? All right, I've talked really long. I need to hurry up. The last chance list that I showed you are the things that are leaving, and they're up to 60% off, okay? So make sure you shop. Um, yeah, Nicole, it's so hard to get on board with Wild Wheat right now. Maybe in the fall, when we're doing fall leaves, we'll feel differently. But right now, I am... Standing on the edge. <laughs> it's definitely not in my favorites, but we'll see. We will see. This is the last call for uh, April's um, card club. I mean, Club Create. Uh, this month, we're using Greatest Journey. Today is the cutoff. If you want this month's Club Create kit, it will ship around the 21st. $39, you get about $20 in product, five cards, video, PDF, and shipping, all for $39. So that is this month. Starting tomorrow, 
um, you can start, if you are not a subscriber, you can start subscribing starting tomorrow for May's Club Create. And I had it designed, I like to have the stuff designed ahead of time, but I wanted to use something from our new catalog. Um, and so this is what I went with. Crafting with you is the um, bundle. So those of you who are waiting for your catalog, when it comes, look for crafting with you. Look at this. This is a paper trimmer die cut, scissor die cuts. There's a sewing machine. There's a cut and emboss machine. And it uses this beautiful country, I can't remember the name, country something paper. So Club Create friends, this will be for May. Okay. So if you want to join Club Create for this, don't do it today. It starts tomorrow. Okay, over on my Club Create page, you can subscribe and it'll be for this. I have not photographed it. Nothing is ready. PDF will be ready probably towards the end of next week. Okay, so that is that. I was very excited to show you guys that. Very excited. Um, this month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle features Regency Park, um, which is a suite in the spring catalog. Both stamp sets in the suite are carrying over, I believe. Um, it's 12 projects, video tutorial projects by 12 different designers. Um, th this is free when you spend $50 with me online. Um, and I just emailed it out this morning to everybody who's ordered in April. So if you didn't get it, check your spam folder before you email me, please. Okay, last is Sweet Citrus Class To Go. This is April's Class To Go. Um, features the Sweet Citrus Bundle. There are 10 projects. This is a mega class. 10 projects, five different cards, five different treats. Um, you can get the class with the bundle, without the bundle. Um, it's all delivered to your mailbox with a PDF. You need the stamps and the dies, but everything else I will do for you. Um, deadline on this isn't until I think the 21st, so you still have some time to register for that class. The PDF for this is available in my PDF store already. I will update today's video with all the links for you for all of this stuff so you don't have to go digging around. But if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com right now, um, if your screen keeps flashing green, exit out and come back. That has happened to me before when I was watching something I was watching actually yesterday, a Facebook Live. Um, I don't know why he does that. And remember, I'm having wonky weather right now, so we may have some, some weird delays or whatever. Yes, you can buy Just the Club Create PDF, uh, Vicky. Uh, it will be in my PDF store. The new one will be in my PDF store towards the end of next week. Um, I've started typing it, but I'm far from having it done. Okay, winners, winner from last week is Dawn Klein. Thank you for sharing my video, Dawn. Please message me your mailing address. You know, you guys, look, some of you use different names for Facebook, and I think I know you, and then maybe I don't, and then I get you confused with someone else. So message me. Make sure I have the right address. I probably do, but just make sure. Okay, Dawn? Congratulations. Thanks for sharing my video. This week, I'll be giving away Desert Details Bundle to somebody who shares the video. So please share either on Facebook or YouTube. And then, as always, Facebook Friday projects are free with an online order between now and Monday at midnight. Over $35. Here's the host code for you to use. Um, if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because you'll get Stamper Rewards from Stampin' Up! and I'll still send you the projects. Um, this is what it looks like. I do not send any stamped images. Guys, that's a big no-no. If a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is sending you stamped images, that is against policy. We can't do that. We're not allowed to do that. So you do have to have the stamps um, and the dies. Now, again, if you don't have the stamps, use some, what you have. You don't always have to have the exact stamps that I have. Um, but I will cut everything for you except for what's on these dies. So you'll need the bundle. And those, the deadline for that is Monday at midnight. You guys, I have dinner in the crock pot and it's starting to make me feel sick. Do you guys ever cook something in the crock pot and then it's like all day I'm just smelling it and I'm like, oh, it doesn't smell good anymore. <laughs> By the time dinner gets here, I'm going to not 
doesn't want to eat. And you know, when you make something in the crock pot, it's supposed to be easy. I don't like these crock pot recipes that say, cook this in the on the stove for 10 minutes and then put it in the crock pot. I feel gypped. It should be easier than that if I'm using the crock pot. Okay, let me um, pull my hair up to ponytail because I am hot. It's gotten really cold outside, but with these lights, it is very hot. Okay, you guys, are we ready? Yes, the new Crafting With You bundle is so cute. I don't have my um, catalog yet, my in-person catalog yet. Otherwise, I'll show you. Yes, Marty, Mauve was big in the 80s. And there was a joke with my parents and their best friends about Mauve, something fishing worms and Mauve color. I don't know. And I always think of that when I hear the word Mauve. Um, it, it's just not my favorite. You know, I like the brights. But, you know, everybody has a different opinion. So then that's okay. Okay, let's get started. If you weren't here in the beginning, yes, I know the stamps have sold out. <laughs> I know, I know. It happened like yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And I, I mean, what am I going to do? I have no other projects for you. So we're going for it. All right. You can still get the dies. All right. We're going to create this card. I have been seeing a lot of weaving cards online. I love it. I love to do weaving. So we're going to do that. You can see that this card, the only stamp that it uses is the sentiment. So really, if you bought the dies, you could easily make this with just the dies. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make our, our paper for the weaving. And I'm going to spritz a half sheet of basic white cardstock. And uh, Nancy, yeah, that's what I have in the crock pot. Chicken. Smelled awful cooking, but so delicious. Well, I hope so, because right now it's making me feel a little sick. Oh, Nancy, that's a good idea. Is the French still available? I don't know. That's a very good question. I noticed there were a lot of French sets that had sold out, um, which was interesting to me. But that's a good good thing to check. Okay, so this is a spritzer. And in the spritzer, I put four drops of Pool Party ink refill. And then I filled it with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And you want to use the higher count. This one was 91% isopropyl. Is that how you say it? The higher count ones are better. If you One time I used one that was like a 50%, and I don't even know what that means. But it the 50% was clogging. It wouldn't spray. So then I did some asking around, realized you for whatever reason you have to have that higher percentage. But then you shake it up, and you're just going to spritz this card. Um, depending on the intensity is just going to depend on how your spritz look. If you have never used a spritzer, just know, be prepared. Prepare your surface. Don't have anything around you. Um, one time I went to the grocery store and I realized afterwards that I had spritzed my all my stomach on my shirt before I had left. And when I got home, I noticed it. And I'd walked around the grocery store with spritz all over my shirt, <laughs> spritzed ink. So just be prepared, okay? Um, sometimes I like to put it in a big cardboard box or on top of my trash can and spritz it inside the trash can um, because it does go everywhere. So you just want to, you know, kind of, I do it high, low, whatever. You you don't want a real uniform look. You just want those kind of splattery like that, all right? And then you're just going to let it dry. And because it has alcohol, it's going to dry really, really fast. Now, once it's dry, cut it down to three-eighths of an inch strips. I found that quarter inch were too skinny, half an inch were too fat. And I have a piece of chipboard here, and I've put adhesive across the top. And I'm just going to start layering these right here. Now, Surely everybody here has done some sort of weaving, right? Like when you were a kid, under and over. It's very simple. Don't don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. I think, let's see, I think seven was how many I used. And then you just take this and you just start going under and over and under and over and pulling it to the top. All right, and then the next one, you're gonna go over and under and over and under the opposite of the one you did before. All right, now it looks like I didn't cut enough, but I think 
will be fine because you're going to cut these off anyway. You know, I didn't cut enough. I need to have more of these. Hold on. I'm going to get some more. Let me, let me do this one. What did I do? Did I throw that piece away? Well, maybe we'll have a, nope, I did that wrong. Maybe we'll have a square of weaving this time instead of a rectangle. Let's see. Okay. I've got that. Now, where did my strip of paper go? Here it is. Oh, but it's not very spritz. Let's see. Is this one dry? Let's see. We'll pull this one off. It's already dry. Already dry. And we will trim it. Hold, please. Hold, please. Now, it's not going to be exactly the same because I stripped it. I mean, I spritzed. <laughs> stripped it. I spritzed it at a different time. Okay, so three eighths. You know, does anybody else have trouble reading this trimmer? I have trouble reading this trimmer big time. One, two, three. All right, I think two will be enough. I can hear somebody outside. I don't know who it is. It sounds like a delivery person. Speaking of delivery, you guys, guess what is being delivered right now as we speak? my new cabinets in my new studio. In the pouring rain, it is, they are being delivered and installed today. I am dying. I wanna go over there and sit there and make sure that they do it right because it's custom in my, in my studio, my office, and they just really were not understanding what I was trying to tell them. I want an island of cabinets in the middle and I really didn't want it connected to the floor because I want to be able to move it, you know. But they were like, what, huh? What are you talking about? They they still, they, they were not paper crafters, these gentlemen. <laughs> and their wives are obviously not paper crafters and they were very confused. Um, so yet yeah, on Sunday, my husband and I went over there and we took chalk with us and we mapped out where all the cabinets should go. So hopefully, did I get that right? Why does that look wrong? What, what am I doing? Hold on. I can't, obviously cannot talk under and over, under and over. I obviously can't talk and weave at the same time. So when we're done here, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to drive over there. We're building a house. If, if you're new here, we're building a house not very far from here. And I'm going to have my own studio, standalone studio outside of the regular house and uh, not connected. That way nobody will bother me during my Facebook lives. Okay, so that's very exciting. And it's also distracting because that's where I wanna be. Over there, tapping my foot, watching these guys probably eat pizza while they install my cat. <laughs> <laughs> we have found more food in that house as it's being built. There's a half-eaten hamburger down in the island. They better they better clean that out. I'm saying right now they better clean that out before they put the countertop on there. I'm not touching it. Okay, I'm going to just put a little dot of glue. Whoa, that was a big dot of glue. I'm going to put a little dot of glue on these on the end. And we're going to let it sit there for a minute and hopefully dry enough so that we can pull this off. Um, all right, so oh, so did you guys see how I cut some of those off and then used them again? I don't know if I mentioned that, I think I did. All right, in my original card, I used um, Pumpkin Pie and Mango Melody. Well, Mango Melody is sold out, so I thought, well, let's switch it to Pale Papaya. I don't think Pale Papaya has sold out yet. Um, Pumpkin pie, I put adhesive sheets on the back and we will adhere that down. And we've got this one. I have cut the stems or the stem singular from um, Garden Green. Don't you guys just love these adhesive sheets? They are awesome. Okay, I didn't pay attention. Has Have you guys checked my blog? Is it up? Is everything right? Did I change the picture? Did I change the title? Did I link everything correctly? 
what did I forget? Typically I forget something. All right, this little adorable label that I use a lot is from the Meadows dies. And then you're gonna need a bow. And I'm using the window pane evening evergreen ribbon. I don't want it too big. Whoops. Ah, Lois, you're stamping while watching. Excellent. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's see. Let's bring this back over. And I'm going to cut, or actually, I'm going to pull this off very carefully. Um, Carla, they don't seem to stick down very well. Really? You know, I have only used that alphabet set one time. I should use it. Well, maybe I'll use it next week and I'll see if I have the same problem. All right, this guy seems to have done something he wasn't supposed to do. So let's see. Um, he needs to go over. No, do not, do not do this. Come on, guys, behave. All right. I want to scooch them all in before I cut it. And the last one, there we go. All right. Now, whoa, we've gotten crazy. Let's fix this one. It's like doing something very strange. You know, this was so perfectly easy when I wasn't doing it on a live video. Of course, it's gonna be like making it look really difficult. Okay, so now once you have that, I kind of like to take these and just kind of squish them all over, get them kind of tight, close to each other, straighten them out. It does not need to be perfect. In fact, you really don't want it to be perfect. And then just cut these like this at an angle, each one. My husband had to take a quick trip to Dallas, so he was gone last night, and I really try to not do any stamping or crafting in the evening so I can sit with him, watch TV, be with him, watch movies, whatever. Um, because, you know, to him, I'm working. So he was gone last night, so I was like, yes, I can just stamp and not feel guilty. And that's what I did. I played with that new crafting with you bundle and it is the cutest. I didn't realize it was a million dollar achievers stamp set, the crafting with you bundle. So you'll have to look at it if you when, if and when you get your catalog, not if, when you get your catalog. Okay. So now we've got all those little pieces cut off. Let's get all those little guys out of here and we're gonna bring over our card base, just basic white. And I'm gonna put it kind of crooked, okay? Remember, you don't want it to be like perfect. And I'm just gonna boop, 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 boop. All over, dot, 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 dot. A dot is a lot. That's what we used to say in kindergarten. A dot is a lot. All right, and then like that. All right, now let me pull out my adhesives. We're going to put the um, marigolds on with dimensionals. Marigolds remind me of my childhood. There was always marigolds in everybody's yard when I was a kid. And we would pick them and pull them apart. I don't know. And I looked up what colors they come in. And really, they only come in like orange and yellow variations of orange and yellow is what I should say really. Um, and that was true. That's what I remembered as a kid, only orange and yellow. Did you see, I put an adhesive sheet on the back of, on the back of that stem as well. Let's see if I can get these little things to poke out. Okay, now you have trouble with the adhesive sheets sticking. Really? I have never had problems with them. 
Lois, I know. Something about people watching makes everything go wrong. When we present for Stampin' Up, we have three rehearsals before we present to work out all the kinks. And every time, on that fourth time, the main presentation, something always happens that didn't happen during the rehearsals. You just never know what's going to happen. All right, some brass butterflies. And these little adorable butterflies will be in the new annual catalog as well. They're carrying over, which I like because I really do like these. I use them a lot. And there you go. Thanks. Very cute. Very cute, if I do say so myself. <laughs> All right. Project number one is done. Now let's do number two. Let me get a drink first. Hold on. All righty. I'm glad you guys like it. Thanks. Now I told you in the beginning that we were going to make a seed card that was inspired by my downline, Patty who sent me that super funny, basically salsa seed card. Everything you need to make salsa, if I could manage to grow something. Um, this is a seed card with marigold seeds in it. And you slide the ribbon down. And when you pull it up, this pulls up like that. You see that? I love that. And it's very easy to make. Okay, so we are using the stamped marigolds today on this one if you don't have the stamps then you can use what you have or you could do these marigolds with the dies all right so for the card base the measurements are on the pdf thanks ellen um right here okay the first piece is like a regular card base but it's um scored at let me look at my notes three and a half and nine. You're gonna fold it like this and the larger section is gonna be at the top. And then I'm gonna use my stapler to staple this right close to the edge. You know, I put brand new staples in here, so don't tell me that you don't have staples. Come on, sometimes it gets, yeah, there's a, there's a rogue staple causing backup. All right, now, we're gonna take this part right here. This is the other one that is three and three fourths by seven and a fourth. You score it at half and five and a fourth. We're gonna fold this one up and we're gonna staple it to, and then we're gonna fold this backwards. All right, so then take your tear and tape Thanks, Kimberly. And we're gonna put this right there. And, well, all right, let's try again. There we go. Now, this is gonna fold backwards and it's gonna go right here. So to do that, I'm gonna lay it like this I'm gonna try to center it the best I can right there. And then it's gonna fold down and it's gonna slide into that. But before we do that, let's put on the designer series paper. And this paper is the Flowers and More DSP, which was uh, a host reward or free, one of the free things you can choose when you spend $150. Those are called Stampin' Rewards. All right, and then you tuck that in there, and then it'll just slide like that, okay? And then this is Flowers and More Designer Series paper. This the same paper stack, just a different pattern. And I think this might be too big. Yeah, let me trim this down a little bit. Um, I have individual recordings of these projects on YouTube. So if, in case you wanna come back and watch again, you can watch those. They're quicker, they're edited, they're less, you know, 
<laughs> clumsy. <laughs> All right, so now I also have a scallop border, and we're going to put that right here. Okay, and you want to trim that, match the edge like that. I've got two little pieces of um, DSP. This one is three fourths of an inch, and this is mango. Oh, rest in peace. <laughs> so sad. It's retiring, and I love it. And that one's pumpkin pie. And that one's half an inch. And I'm just gonna put them on here. Put that one like that. And this one like that. And then trim that right there. Okay. Now we need to make our marigolds. So let's do some stamping. Oh, my nose is so itchy and I don't know why. All right, we're gonna stamp the top layer. This is two-step stamping. Top layer in pumpkin pie. And then get some scrap paper and we're gonna stamp off the inside image. We're gonna do pumpkin pie also. But you wanna stamp off before you stamp so that you'll have that lighter color. Okay, and then I need to get my, buried over here somewhere, my chamois. And we're gonna do Daffodil Delight, full strength. And Daffodil Delight, stamped off. Nope, let's do that again. Gotta have a solid surface under you. Okay. And then we'll get the stem and we're gonna stamp the little stem three times in garden green thanks guys i'm glad you like it i like the blue this balmy blue with the the orange and yellow they go really well together okay now we die cut bring over your cut and emboss machine make some room And find my dies. Here we go. We have been slowly working on packing the house. Every weekend we do something. Like we last weekend we did our bedroom and our closet. And something else. What else did we do last week? Can't remember. Um, the weekend before we did the closets. All the games and puzzles, the scrapbooks. This weekend, I need to finish my my side of the closet. <laughs> it's me. It's all my clothes. Um, and um, I think we're gonna start. Oh, I also I also packed up like formal china stuff. You know that never gets used. Cleaned out my china cabinets. So this weekend, I think we're going to start in the kitchen on, you know, some of those things that you don't use very often. We still have two months, but we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have a lot. And uh, it feels good to purge. Our bedroom now is, there's no decorations up. There's no, like, decorations. There's no picture frames or any of that stuff. And so it feels really clean. We empty drawers. And the kids are doing the same each weekend. They have one thing in their room they have to do. We'll get there, maybe, hopefully. And we'll, and we'll, we'll probably feel panicked at the end. All right, we've got a radiating stitches dies. These dies are unorderable right now, but they are coming back. I don't know the date. Somebody know the date? Some, sometime in May, I think. You have a heart of gold and that's balmy blue and we're going to start with one marigold right here and then we'll put one marigold up here like that 
And then we're going to get these. And we're just going to glue these. And I kind of like having that green part in front. I think it's supposed to be on top. So I'm going to glue it kind of like that. And then this one. Ooh, that's a lot of glue. Right there. Mm, let's try that again right there. And then, come on, Facebook, show me the comments. <laughs> Kimberly, well, this is the third time I've made this project, so that's why I'm fast. I'm not always fast. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. You know, I'm just kind of a, I do things fast anyway, which is not always good because fast doesn't mean, um, Fast doesn't mean like nice and neat, right? When you do things fast, sometimes it's sloppy, kind of messy. So I, I run into that sometimes because I'm just working too fast. I walk fast too. Even my husband's like, would you slow down? I'm a fast walker. I think that's being a teacher. We had to walk fast. <laughs> when you only have 20 minutes for lunch, you got to walk fast. All right. Dimensionals. That goes right there. And then last but not least, let's get our blue and white ribbon. This ribbon is so light. I mean, it feels like nothing, which is great because it's not gonna bulk your envelope up. And we'll tie a bow and be done. There you have it, a marigold seed card. Where are my scissors? So do you guys have marigolds where you are? I would assume that if marigolds grow here in San Antonio, that then they pretty much grow anywhere because it's like the surface of the sun here in the summer. So I would think, unless maybe it's, I don't know, not sunny enough somewhere for them? I don't know. Okay, we've got one more project. Let me clean up my mess. And it's a 3D project. Trinkle tie, man. Tripping me up down here on the floor. It looks so good with Lost Lagoon. Why did I think Trinkle Tide was coming back? Hmm. I have no idea. It's a good thing I didn't use it on a project. <laughs> that would have been awkward. All right, you guys. Today's 3D project is a little Debbie holder. These little Debbie brownies, blooming brownies. They don't have marigolds on them, but who cares? They're brownies and they're delicious. And the purple goes really well with the yellow. Um, I just got these at the grocery store. And this box is actually from Marissa at Kitchen Table Stamper. She's one of my favorites. I always love what she makes. And I had penned this project a while back from her. And so it's a, it's a case from Marissa. So thanks for the idea, Marissa. I know you guys probably know who she is. She is a great stamper. Her 3D projects are some of my faves. All right, so we're going to use, this is again that Flowers and More designer series paper. That is, you can get with your Stampin' Rewards. And the measurements are right here. Second page of today's PDF. And, oh, really, Leah? So marigolds even grow in rainy Washington. Wow, so they must be easy to grow. I plant marigolds with my tomato plants to keep the bugs away. You know, Patty, for some reason, I feel like I knew that. And I don't know much about plants, but I feel like I've heard that before. <laughs> Denise, teachers walk fast and eat fast. Yes, we do. We do. We really have to. There's very little time for anything else. Okay. So, um, good. I'm glad everybody has marigolds. This is five and a half by five and a half on one side, and it doesn't matter which side. Um, you're going to score it at one and four and a half. Be very careful when you're scoring your DSP because it's very thin and uh, it will tear. And then on the other side, two and a fourth and three and a fourth. And then you're just gonna burnish. The hardest part of this is seeing your lines in your busy designer series paper pattern. 
All right, and I don't know where my bone folder is. Oh, here it is. It was, it was hiding, it was like standing sideways so I couldn't see it. All right, so burnish those lines. And then all you're gonna do, you're gonna snip these score lines here in the middle, like that. You can cut the corners off if you want. Like that. And then adhesive on the little tabs, fold the side over into the tabs like that. And then adhesive on the inside of the sides and you're just gonna wrap it around and hug the other side like that. All right, now it looks like my sides are a little bit tall and I don't know why. We're gonna pretend like that's not happening. We're just gonna trim them off so that they are even. <laughs> Did you guys ever do that? I know. Oh, you know what I forgot to score? My rectangle. This is one of our contour scallop dies. And we're gonna score it at two and a fourth. Nope, nope, one and three fourths. And two and three fourths. And it's just gonna be like a little flap. And you know, last time I forgot to stamp before I put this on. So let's stamp the Stem. And I want to show you how this is designed. This is a um, full strength. And then come over here and stamp it. These little, I don't know, little marks that can go right there on the leaves. Okay. Then you're going to take adhesive and we're going to center that right there in the middle and then it's just going to fold over like that and we're going to hold it down with ribbon all right so put your brownie in there man these brownies they're heavy and dense and they're so delicious my girls get excited when they see me buy little debbie brownies for projects because they know they're going to get them and they love them all right fresh freesia is a color that has been in color for two years and now it's returning as a core color. So that's, yay, that's good. Some of the Fresh Freesia stuff is retiring like the ribbon, okay? Everything else is staying, ink, cardstock, Stampin' Blends, but the ribbon is leaving and it's super cheap. This roll of ribbon, I, wrote, I typed it in last night, $3, no, $2.80. So that means they must have a plethora of it in the warehouse. So add it to your next order. It's two bucks. Stampin' Up! never has anything that's two bucks. Super cheap. All right, again, we're gonna do the Marigold just like we did with the first project. I have done um, adhesive on the back and I'm gonna stick it down onto the solid. Now, these are the same colors, so to create some contrast I'm going to take my wink of Stella and wink up the little inside parts now you could also do this before you stick the top one on there you could just brush the whole big one but I didn't think about doing that until afterwards so this is how I did it okay it just gives you a little bit of contrast which makes it have a little more dimension and then that's gonna go right here with a dimensional like that. Okay, now last but not least, let's do our stamp. We're gonna use that thanks again. I love a, a one word sentiment. Where did my chamois go? Chamois, chamois, where did it go? Hold on, oh, took it over here. I like small sentiments. Big sentiments I have a hard time with. Are you guys like that? I really like small sentiments. All right, use your embossing buddy. Stamp this in reverse mark on Blackberry Bliss. 
because Rich Razzleberry is sold out and they're basically the same thing. <laughs> right? Blackberry Blizz, Blizz is a little bit darker, but they're basically the same thing. Okay, white embossing powder and the heat tool. For about, I don't know, 10 seconds. There we go. And we're gonna trim this down and you can use your trimmer or if you're brave like me, you could just use your scissors. See, this is, this is me being fast. I wanna go fast and get it done instead of pulling out the trimmer, which means that it's a little bit crooked. So fast sometimes is messy and sloppy. I had that problem in school. I was too, I would do things too fast and then they weren't always all right. Correct, you know? All right, there you go. What do you guys think? That's an easy project. Really, really easy. Okay, I have one more to show you for Monday's blog post. Um, where did it go? Did I lose it? Oh, here it is. And unfortunately, this one does use all the stamps. But isn't it pretty with the uh, Melon Mambo designer series paper? That's the mm, greatest journey. It, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the camping stuff in the spring catalog. That's that paper. And then this is the rain or shine paper. And this is that, I love this die, the stitched greenery die. Is that retiring? I feel like that's retiring. I think it is. Oh, I love that die. So I'll have that on Monday. I'm hoping if I can remember tomorrow to put up a card, an Easter card for you guys. Um, that was my swap card. Hopefully I can remember. Okay, you guys. So here we go. If you would like a make and take packet with... The three projects that we made today, you can order anything you want online. Oh, you know what? I wanted to show you guys something too. Um, let me just show you real quick. On at the store, Stampin' Up! store. Do I not have internet? There we go. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. Um, right here. The banner is always the stuff that's like promotional. So um, click on that if you want the last chance stuff. But if you click the three lines right there, shop products, online exclusives right there, okay? that There's the online exclusives. But you can also do, click the three lines, specials, and then last chance products and clearance. So last chance products, and then you can filter and all there's all different kinds of ways to filter. Um, view, let's see, you can view sort, newest, oldest, you could do prices, load high. On my computer, when I filter, is it, I don't know if it's on here on the iPad, but it'll also give you, I don't see it, but it'll tell you uh, like what's low inventory, Hmm, maybe that's just on the desktop view, which is really helpful because then you can see what's about to leave, what's about to sell out. Hmm. Anyway, that's where it all is. Okay, order anything you want. As long as your order is in by Monday at midnight, it's $35 or more. It uses that host code. I will send you these products next week. All right, you guys have a wonderful Easter. I'll be back to my regular schedule next week on Friday at 2 o'clock with uh, Silly Goose, I believe is what it's called, and new colors. All right? Thanks, guys, for joining me. Bye.